when we get to doing drywall and they start taping and mudding in the in-between process of when the mudding is drying, we need to have them go up onto their roofs. So um, everyone's working on their rafters right now. And um, as soon as those are put in place, then we can move on to sheathing. Um, I have had uh, Carolina come inside and she helped my girls a few days ago. I, I, she just switched with someone because there was too many people over at her house and the girls I know were having some difficulties. So she went up there. I don't think she was even up there for more than half an hour and just kind of walked them through some of the things that she did. And it was super helpful. it's very valuable um, you know I mean it, and it's part of the learning process right so if somebody has already worked on something and they've got that down packed and they understand the process and they can go and they can help their other teammates that's huge like you avoid that step of having to come and grab me or having to go grab someone else because you can have a teammate just right there help you and I remember when I was in school we did that a lot with one another and it's great it's 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 I feel like it's more empowering too. I think they understand that, you know, we've already extended the builds a week and we're not quite finished yet. So it's possible that they might be feeling a little bit of frustration, but I think it's also that realization that like, you know, wrenches get thrown at you all the time. You know, a part of this is not just because they're brand new and they've never done this stuff. Part of it is having to wait for our materials and our supplies to get here. So they're beginning to understand that you just have to kind of work around these things sometimes and um, that unfortunately kind of messes with our schedule a little bit too. Yeah, I would, I would say that. It is real world. So they'll, you know, and, and it's funny because like I talk to anybody like, you know, that has to do with construction or whatever it may be, whatever the case may be. Like I was working in the restaurant industry for the longest time and even then like they still have supply issues. So it's not just in this field alone, it's everywhere. And so, you know, specifically here, because obviously everything is brought to you, it's, it, it can put a damper on things, but it's also um, an opportunity to really, you know, understand it and just move forward with the process and to keep going, not let it bring you down or not let, you know, you can't sit and wait. You can't, this, th this stuff has to keep moving and you have to get it out by a certain date. I mean, it's, it's really important to get them, you know, to, to understand that like we just got to keep moving forward um it is difficult some days you know it's it's very frustrating i remember when i did it it's it's just it feels never ending sometimes you know but if you you understand that this is all for a learning experience and it's all part of that process then um you know hopefully grasping that and understanding that it it helps to ease that frustration, if that makes sense. Oh, man. Quítate.
yeah, there have been some mistakes. And of course, as we always say, there are learning opportunities. Um, and what's interesting, what we're starting to find now with there being so many different classes is that, you know, if there's a mistake that happened in someone else's class, uh, we can go and take a look at it and be like, hey, this is what you want to avoid. Or somebody did something this way and we're like, hey, this is what we're looking at. So that's really, really, really valuable. I, I really enjoy having that. Sometimes being ahead isn't always the greatest because then you make some mistakes. But for the people that are behind, it's perfect because we can say, hey, this is what this person did wrong. This is what the group did wrong. This is how we can avoid making the same mistake. And then there's still just things that they're, you know, um, making mistakes on themselves. But I've noticed that it hasn't been too bad. It's been pretty minimal with the, uh, with the rafters. Um, it's usually been putting in a rafter and it's at the two foot center. But then because it's such a long piece of wood where it meets on the other joining piece, it's it's kind of off a little bit. So it's just kind of teaching them to use their tools properly, making sure that things are square. Uh, otherwise, thankfully, they haven't been making any really, really big mistakes. the students are doing an excellent job. I know that they <laughs> took a little bit of, uh, on doing their drywall, their taping and their mudding. But you know, the nice thing about having done this myself is that it's relatable. And, and our class took a long time also in, in the mudding and the texture and the sanding and doing that over and over again. So, you know, it is what it is. It's a part of it. Um, but as long as we can get them up over that and then by the next two builds, they don't spend as much time. I think that's pretty valuable and I think that they should continue to work hard and I hope that they see um, how much their hard work is beginning to pay off. Their houses are beginning to look really awesome and they're almost looking like a complete little house. Mm -hmm.